ready, so thanks. You can go ahead and start. All right. Good evening. My name is Nikki Van Dyke, and I am the presenter. Um, we are, my group and I are working on the campaign for the Gussie and Locker Community Outreach, and my group is going to introduce themselves. Uh, I'm Amanda Lanky. I'm the analyst. I'm Jessica Mort. I'm the coordinator. Kayla Stansky, the media So together we have developed a campaign proposal for the Gussie and Walker Community Outreach Organization. We did some research on the organization and they have a great vision. They have a great idea of what they want the organization to become. And you guys have moved so far in just since being open in 2004. So what we are hoping to do is help you to accomplish your mission. Some great programs that are offered through the Gussie M. Walker Community Outreach, the Walker's Neighborhood House and the Summer Enrichment Program, and provide, they both provide a place for the disadvantaged youth of the south side of Newcastle to go. They provide educational assistance and also recreation in a controlled environment. Some challenges that we identified that the organization is having is a, lack of, is a lack of funding, as well as a lack of community knowledge about the organization. So we did some research to kind of further figure out these issues and what we could maybe do to enhance the program. So the first thing that we did was we conducted a survey. And we had 63 Newcastle residents who agreed to take part in our research efforts. Some of them were from the St. John's Holy United Church. Some of them were businesses around the area that we went to personally and talked to people, as well as Jen called some people on the phone and asked them. And the things that we found were surprising. 11% were aware of the organization. Only 11% of the people that we surveyed were aware of it. So that was our main problem right there. Nobody knows about it, and if people don't know about it, we're not gonna get people, we're not gonna get kids coming into the program. Donors aren't gonna be interested and we can't get, they can't get more volunteers to help out. Additionally, the community awareness of the after school and summer programs, as you can see, almost 70% weren't aware of the summer programs and the after school programs that they offer. So that's something that we saw and we said, we need to do something about that. The community should know about these programs and that they're offered and so we want to do something to help with that. Additionally, we initially we were considering doing a community block party. It would be something where the whole community would be able to get involved and it would also serve as a fundraiser. When we got the results back from the survey, we realized that most people wouldn't be very interested in coming to a block party. So we had to kind of rethink our ideas, but that was good because that was our first step of research. So from then on, we could develop new ideas. We also asked them how likely they would to donate for a fundraising event. We said a minimum of $5, and there were a lot of people who weren't. And so we said, okay, maybe we need to reach outside the immediate community in order to fundraise. We also asked if anybody would be willing to volunteer, and we had a place for a name and a number at the bottom. And we were really surprised that there were a decent amount of people who wanted to participate only eight said that they wouldn't be willing to volunteer out of the people that we surveyed. So we got a lot of names then, and volunteers is something that no organization is ever gonna turn down. They definitely need help. Next, we asked what types of fundraising the respondents would participate in. Um, as you can see, we got some creative answers, but we had Summer in the Park Community Outreach, Night at the Races, Veteran Events, scholarship events, any coupons for pizza, which I mean, who doesn't want pizza? <laughs> 5K run and a golf event. So those are some things that we thought, okay, maybe they would be more interesting to the community. And actually, interestingly, as we'll talk about later, they're already conducting a 5K walkathon that we're gonna help them with. So that was something that was great to learn that somebody would be interested in doing that. We also asked what we could possibly do to improve the organization. Well since 88% didn't know that it existed, they said advertising, and we said, good idea, because we would love to help with that. 
more people who know about it, the more donations and volunteers you can get. Next, we did our in-depth interview, and that was with Mr. Clark. And he is the deacon of St. John's Holy United Church. We, had, we identified three themes of things that we wanted to learn more about in talking to Mr. Clark. Those were, we wanted to learn more about the Newcastle com as a community, since none of us are from, from here, as well as just more about the organization, because he has been involved with it since it, since it started back in 2004, and also more about fundraising, some things that they maybe have tried in the past, or some ideas that he thinks might work. The most valuable information that we learned from Mr. Clark was that and it's also stuff that we learned in our survey as well. It backed up the research that we had found that Newcastle is a low-income area for a lot of people, especially the south side of Newcastle, and they don't have a lot of extra money. So we thought, well, in our fundraiser, we need to try and reach out to the community with our services, but reach farther out for fundraising and donations. Um, we also asked him about the idea of a community block party, and he said that they had tried it in the past, and that it wasn't quite as success successful. It was a lot of work, and it and took a lot of time, and volunteers didn't come up with a lot of fundraising efforts, and they didn't have as good of a response from the community. So that again said, okay, community block party isn't exactly what we're looking for here. But he also did mention a past funders year he did with a different organization where they had the Tuskegee Airmen come in and do a banquet and there was a there was a dinner and they sat down and talked and it was very well attended they made a lot of money off of it and it was something that he said he would be would think would be successful in the community again lastly we did a focus group when we conducted that with the board members of the gm walker community outreach we wanted to learn two things two main things from the focus group Fun, the fun about the fundraising banquet and about a new facility which they are in need of considering that the one that they had actually um, burnt down and they had to knock it down so um, so we learned from this the specific goals that they had for the banquet Avon has actually already been in contact with somebody she already has a contact with somebody who works at a sports consulting firm and is trying and he is willing to come and bring a sports figure with him so we said well, that's a good way that we can do the banquet idea that Mr. Clark had given to us. So that's something that we definitely have identified that we want to help out with. As well as the, tar uh, the publics that they would like to target, they said reaching outside of the Newcastle community would be a good idea and they would like to be able to do that. Um, as well as just the financial need of the group. We learned that they do need the building, but there's also other things that they can use it for. It's just an organization that they rely solely on a lot of grants, and some of those have been falling through lately, so we wanted to help with that. So the goals and objectives we identified are to raise additional funds for the program, for the programs provided to the community by the outreach. Um, to do this, we're going to increase the donor relations efforts and increase funding through grants and fundraisers, which we'll talk about. Also, we want to increase the community awareness of the GM Walker Community Outreach. In order to do this, we want to increase the community relations. We want more publications, social media, and we want to create relationships with the local media outlets so people can hear about the organization. The messages that we want to get across through our campaign are that the GM Walker Community Outreach cares about your child's education. Walker's Neighborhood House provides a safe place for youth in Newcastle, and we want people to let the GM Walker Community Outreach be their second home, and that the community help us bring life back into Newcastle. That was something they identified in their vision, and that's something we'd love to help with. So some of the ways that we propose to do this and help out with the program. First, we have the best sports consultant fundraiser, which I mentioned, which they're already starting to move on things. But the things that we'd like to help out with are provide them with a media kit that has ready-made press releases, media advisories, um, brochures, um, everything that they might need to send out to the media so that they're aware of this campaign going on. And also, we wanted to have ready-made publications, flyers, and different things that they can hand out and that would be visually pleasing and uh, they could use and 
have for when it comes around, considering the date that they have set for it is September 15th, since we're not going to be around, we'd like to come back, but in the instance that we aren't able to, they will have those ready. Next, the Walker House 5K Walkathon, which I already mentioned is in full swing, but what we want to do is we want to have flyers and brochures prepared that they can change up each year and use, because it's something that they said that they were interested in doing as an annual fundraiser, so those things that they can keep for years to come. Also, we want to look into grants. Grants are a great way to get a big sum of money that sometimes fundraising can't quite do. So what we want to do is, I know that they rely a lot on grants now, but what we want to do is identify some new grant opportunities for them, as well as a walkthrough of the grant writing process so that it's easier when the time comes and hopefully they'll have better luck getting some of these new grants. Additionally, we want to work on the organization's publications. We've come up with a few different choices for logos and we can further develop these and talk about these. These are just a few that we had in mind. In addition, we wanted to update and redesign the website. I know that they had an agreement with the Westminster School, but we wanted to have that ready for them in case that would fall through or they would want that. Um, as well as program brochures. People don't know about the program, so if they just find out about it, that's something that you can hand out. That's something tangible that people can take with them and say, oh yeah, I remember meeting this you know, person, talking to them about the GM Walker Community Outreach, and this is what they're about. Finally, we want to look into social media. We know that a lot of the younger kids are probably on Facebook. We want to have a Facebook page to communicate maybe the different things going on in the organization. Maybe even a way to connect with parents because parents are more and more on Facebook. And it'd be a great way for donors to find out more information about the organization. Also, we want to create a YouTube account. Mostly, we want to produce a video for the donors, a thank you video from the kids so that they can see how much what they donate means to the organization and what it can do. So with all those tactics, um, we really believe in the GM Walker community outreach and we would love the opportunity to, to help the organization reach its full potential. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you.